Today, we're going to be talking about five mistakes to never make when dancing, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get y'all right today. The first dance mistake you never want to make when dancing, this is like high key, the worst thing you can do, is looking at the floor. Like this thing over here is your worst enemy, unless it's intentional. If you're at a performance and you're trying to display a feeling of self-doubt and no confidence, you look at the floor so you can tell your story. But if you're at a club or a party or something like that, the last thing you want to do is dance at the floor. Like if you're getting sturdy and you're looking at the floor, if you're two-stepping, right? You're looking at the floor like, what does this look like right now? It looks like I have no confidence. You know what I'm saying? But if I come up and I start two-stepping, I'm smiling, you know what I'm saying? It looks better than this. It just looks, it just doesn't look as appealing as somebody that's looking around, looking up. You know what I'm saying? Because it just display a feeling of zero confidence and you have straight self-doubt. If you don't have any confidence, it's okay. But just do not show it because it's going to make everyone around you feel awkward. They're not going to know how to feel. When you're dancing, you, this, your eyes is basically, uh, you're, you're telling people how to feel with your eyes. You're leading with your eyes, right? So if you're dancing, hey, hey, you're telling people where to look with your eye. Hey, but if you're looking at the floor, See, I'm dancing, I'm doing good moves, but it's not appealing as if, you know what I'm saying, I'm dancing and I'm looking around. Hey, you know what I'm saying? It's a different kind of feeling that you get. Unless it's intentional, do not, do not. This is probably the most important one. Look at the floor, just don't do it. I promise you, it's not, it's not gonna get you nowhere. Don't do it, okay? The second thing you do not wanna do, ladies and gentlemen, is stay in one spot, right? You wanna move around, right? So if you got all this space to move around, you wanna interact with that whole space, right? Unless you got a circle going on and everybody got you in like a tight little atmosphere, use as much of the space as possible, right? But if I'm dancing, right? Boom, bat, boom, cat, right? I don't wanna stay in one space, I wanna move around, okay? Use everything, use everything, give people high fives. You know what I'm saying? Use the whole space so you can gravitate to everybody. You don't want to miss anybody. Because at a party, it's not a stage, right? You got to go around the whole entire space so you can get everybody involved, right? Everybody's not going to be capable to, of doing that. But it's you want to use as much of the space as possible, right? Even if that means using different levels. So if you start off high, hey. Hey, you could go low. Hey, it takes, it takes people somewhere else when you change the levels like that. That's space too. That's using space. It's not horizontal, but it's vertical. You know what I'm saying? So you got levels. Huh? You could go around, hype people up, be like this. Simple stuff like this can get people hyped. You don't even understand. Like you telling people how to get crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're first time dancing, right? And you get thrown into a circle. You don't know what to do. The easiest thing you can do is this. I promise you it works every time. Go around and start clapping. I promise you it works every time. Every time I've done it, I, somebody started clapping and it made someone else clap and then it made someone else clap and eventually everyone is clapping. You know what I'm saying? Rule number three. This is high key another important one. Do not try moves you do not know how to do, okay? That can be very dangerous very quickly, right? I can't count the amount of times I try to see people jump over their leg, they clip their foot, and they go face planting straight into the floor. Or they try to do like a front flip, and they hit their back on the floor. Like, do not do moves you do not know how to do. That is the quickest way to make yourself look crazy on the dance floor, right? We're all going to laugh. I'm going to laugh too, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to be that person that be like, yo, you need help, bro? You good? <laughs> like, we're not laughing with you. We're laughing at you, you know what I'm saying? Even though we don't think anything less of you for falling and busting your face, right? <laughs> it's just a funny thing that everyone's going to remember after the party. We're going to go, oh, you remember that one guy who tried to jump over his leg? And then he clipped, and then we, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be that guy. So make sure whatever moves you're doing at a party, you practice them real good. You got to know what moves look good at with you, you know what I'm saying? Like, for example, if you're at a party, and you know the floor is slippery, like you gotta test the floor, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you test the floor. That's another thing too, test the floor. Cause at parties, usually the floor is pretty slippery. So if you're trying to go for spins and jumping over the legs, just know your, your, your landing gotta be on point. 
I'm just saying your landing got to be on point because you will slip. A slippery fall is not a good one, my G. You don't know where you're going to land. You can land this way, that way, backwards, forward, diagonally. It just, <laughs> the, the possibilities is endless, my guy. So make sure you know the moves that you're going to do. Go in the mirror, practice your favorite move that you know you look good doing, and bring that to the party, right? If you don't have, you know what I'm saying, the move down, don't do it, please. Don't do it. You're gonna look crazy, my guy. Safety first. The fourth thing I see a lot of people do when they go to a dance party is trying to do too much, right? What do I mean by that, right? When you go to a party and you have the moment to dance and you've never danced before or you've been waiting all night to dance, you're gonna have this adrenaline to do all the moves that you can in that half of 15 second window that you have to dance, right? And you just go out guns blazing. Like, whoo, my boy, chill out. Chill out, bro. It, it's, it's overwhelming, right? If you just come out of nowhere, right? Say if somebody's dancing, right? Say I'm, I'm dancing in a circle. I'm coming with this kind of energy. Hey, and everybody's vibing, right? Everybody's vibing. And then out of nowhere, I get pushed out the way somebody. Trying mad hard. I'm like, everybody's just going to be like, looking around like, who's this guy, bro? He's trying mad hard. You don't want to be that guy that looks like you're trying mad hard, right? And it's easy to look like the guy that's trying very hard, even for me, because I know I can dance, but I don't want to intimidate anybody. So I can't come in. I might come in smooth, you know what I'm saying? Hit a little, hey, hey. Do like smooth moves, you know what I'm saying? I don't I always got to come in doing the hardest things in the world, trying to get like a reaction. I don't have to do that, right? I could come in, hey, hey, hit one of these. Match the vibe of the circle, you know what I'm saying? You don't got to come in there wilding because first of all, you're going to get out of breath doing all that. Like you're trying to battle somebody. If you're battling, go in guns blazing. That's appropriate. You could come in with a little, a little flip, Come in wilding, but if you're at a party, people just having fun, and you come in blah blah, blah start wilding. They're gonna they're gonna be intimidated. They're gonna not want to cipher. And then when you get out the circle and be like, nobody's gonna want to go because you just did something nobody knows how to do, and you just like kind of ruined the vibe because <laughs> you're trying that hard. The last thing that I see happen a lot is not being aware of your space. Spatial awareness, ladies and gentlemen. If you are at a party, please, or even, even if you're dancing on stage with partners or in a group setting, right, where you got 10 dancers on stage, make sure you are aware of your space, even when you're dancing. You have eyes for a reason, you have ears. Use your ears to gauge how close people are. Use your peripheral vision to see where people are. You don't have to look directly at them. You can just walk around, see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? But you want to be aware of your space, right? If you're in a dance circle and it's obviously tight, you don't want to do big moves that's going to cause somebody to get hurt, right? Sometimes it's not your fault, right? There's been moments where I'm dancing, hey, right? And somebody is like moving, they're not paying attention. I go for a flip, beat, Drink goes out their hand, flies in the air, hits the floor, right? I land my flip though, I'm not falling. You gotta be kidding me. There's been moments where I clip my foot on somebody's arm, right? But that's me not being aware of the space because I should have seen that person coming, right? I should have seen that person coming. So I've had moments like that where my spatial awareness has been off too because the lights are low, it's very hard to gauge. And I get a little too excited sometimes and I wanna bust a little flip and I know it's not the best idea, but I'll be like, hey, forget it. I'm gonna just do it anyway. I try to go for it, whoop. I clip somebody's hand, hair, something. You know what I'm saying? I've never like kicked somebody in the face though, like never that. But the, the worst that's happened is I try to go for my little dolphin dive, you know what I'm saying? And I clip somebody's arm. But yeah, that's me not being spatially aware. I could admit to that. But you just wanna be careful of that because it'll get somebody upset real fast. And again, it'll just be like, 
it's one of those moments that's awkward. You don't want that in a club setting and, and things of that nature. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to learn some dance moves, pick one of these videos over here. The top one is some club dance moves anybody can do. And the bottom one is, is the bottom. Out. <laughs> Click the video, man. Click one of them. Choose one of them. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you have fun while you're doing these videos. No cap. I love you guys so much. And we out here. No cap.